Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Nick from Warrior Outdoors. It's uh, January 12th, doing a late season sit. It's about 1.30, around 40 degrees. We had just gotten some snow a couple days ago and we had some really cold temperatures. Deer were out pretty heavy last night as I was getting home from work, but uh, I'm gonna see how it goes, doing an evening sit, trying out some new gear. <laughs> Got the new camera and arm out with me. I basically wanted to uh, come out and try setting it all up and see what it was like carrying all my gear with the uh, climbing tree stand. So we'll see how it goes tonight. Here I'm just giving the layout of uh, where we're setting up. I'm about 25 yards down um, from the top of a ridge line there. Uh, down off to my left, pretty thick um, laurel in some areas where some doe were gonna be bedding. Within about five minutes, I had this fox show up. They were the first doe I seen. Initially, I only seen two. Uh, come to find out later when they started to move, there was one down farther. This was the first one I seen, and uh, she bedded right down, only about 30 yards away. This was them getting up and heading uh, away from the bedding area. That was uh, the second doe. There was the one bedded down. Here's a doe. Um, I was thinking originally it was two other doe coming from the top of the ridge. Um, as I noticed, there was a, a buck behind her. He was a half rack. He only had uh, two points on one side. Here he is. After following her over the ridge, he kind of separated and went the way of which I seen a bunch of other deer and, um, down along the ridge about 75 yards. Started to get pretty thick in that area. Here is a convoy of eight deer, uh, two of which were just nub spikes. Um, and there was two mature doe, two or three mature doe in this group here. And uh, the mature doe was leading. Of course, they walked directly at my stand.
had she veered off, I probably would have gotten a shot, but they walked directly up to the stand and uh, didn't really give me <laughs> any opportunity to shoot. She, the mature doe walked right up to where I set up my stand at and she looked straight up at me. And at that point it was pretty much a bust. But uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty good setup here. I definitely will be back to this area. There was deer trails everywhere through this thick stuff here. Um, I definitely am going to set up down the ridge uh, toward the direction I was looking, probably closer to where I was seeing more activity of a lot of deer going into the, um, the valley below there. But yeah, this was a, a pretty successful trip out, I would say. Uh, if there's anything I learned, it's pretty tough to try to film yourself and bow hunt. And you're pretty much predicting where you think the deer are going to go. Uh, if I could change anything about this, I would definitely want to get a remote here in the short future for my video camera. And the other thing is um, a little bit longer of an arm would be awesome. This arm from Muddy just seemed a little bit too short and I couldn't quite film around to my left side very well. I think if I had one more swing arm to it or something, I think it would have been a pretty good setup. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with the camera quality and uh, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, like and subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll be putting out more content here soon. Thanks for watching Warrior Outdoors.